got the Stita Stop the Hop kit to try to help me on the drag strip, which my first event is gonna be Streetcar Takeover Steel, Alabama, and that is in two weeks. <laughs> so I'm really nervous. Gonna be good. Gonna be good. I hope. Toe pig and the race car. <laughs> Alright, got all these goodies and the axles to install today. Directionally challenged, I can't tell. Ow! I already hurt myself. I'm not doing this. Where can you see? Resident. <laughs> the hardest part is aligning the spindle with all of this and getting everything to line up and tighten it correctly.
installed these subframe bushings and I'm not exactly sure the video I watched was correct because the thin one on the top was still kind of loose. But this is the thicker one that goes in the rear. This is the bottom piece for the front, as you can see here. And this is the thinner piece that goes on the top in the front that I was saying was still a little bit loose once I tightened everything down. Now I'm installing the alignment dowel and it just goes in the center part. I don't know how to explain it. In the center part of the subframe um, and then the bolt will go in the hole for the dowel. I somehow missed tightening everything up down here, but I promise we did. And then we just repeated the exact same steps on the other side. And then at this point, I was really tired of being in the shop, so we decided to finish th everything up next weekend. So I still have to do these Stita diff bolts, these two subframe bushings, and the IRS subframe support brace.